Put a Sparky Pro tip. Um, shout out to Join Tech Cabling because he's the guy that I sort of um, learned this tip off. All right, so first little step here is to um, we need to, a baseline of where this lug is going to actually sit. All right, so we'll keep it straight. All right, it doesn't need to be tight per se. Uh, we've got this cable here that's going to come across and in. So we need a, a bend radius and we need a measurement. Now it's very difficult to measure that. You've got to. You know, I might just um, might just trim the cable. So we'll just cut it here, say. Okay, so now the tip is, he uses a cable tie, you can use a cable tie or a piece of cable. So what you want to do is, I mean, I'll, I'll get a close up shot of this, but at the bottom of the lug here is, um, is this point here, so where my fingernail is. That's where the tip of the cable can go, because it can't actually go any further down because of the lug coming back up, it's built into that section. So what you, what you do is you use a cable tie here as a as a as a false uh, just as a measuring device to get the length of your cable so you place the cable you pin the cable tie up high place the cable and you can simulate what sort of bend that you think you're going to be able to get on the cable this is a 50 mil square cable so I'm, it's it's not very flexible but it's relatively flexible you know, so I'm thinking something like that looks pretty good. Something like that. Okay, so what you do now is simply have it pinned with that hand, pull this cable tie up, and you've because you need to stay on the bottom as well. So the bottom of the cable is where you've marked it, because the bottom is where the top bit goes. So we'll just double check that. I think that bending radius is pretty reasonable. Right, so you pin the cable there. I'm just going to mark it with my knife. So I'll just put a cut into that. All right, so that's the end of the lug. Okay, so I'll cut that there with the cutters. All right, so again, we need a lug. So you need a lug to get your depth. All right, let's just make a little mark. And it's a little awkward because this board is so... And we're just going to ring around the cable as square as we can. Get that out of the sheaf off. Just give it another ring. Get that out of the sheaf off. So then we'll lug this cable. And what you're aiming for, as you can see here, we've got copper touching that that point and uh it's tight nice and tight on that's that's the perfect length so i've totally nailed that one for youtube <laughs> good practice you can uh just put them right there right there all right so we've got our marks lined up we get our length happy length and we can <laughs> Jubbly. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do this with the tape, but I, um, I like just giving it a little bit because it, what it does, it just um, lets the lug and the cable be a little bit more closer in diameter, just so that the heat shrink looks a bit neater. It's not necessary, really. Single insulation from this point. You've got a little, got a little these little covers that go on. So. Oops, so we'll sleeve that one on. All right, and you want your heat shrink to stop at where where the flat ends.
this heat shrink could be one size smaller, but it was, it was what I had in the truck today. So. Alright, so we can see now how well the tip actually works. Okay, so if we mirror if we mirror the push that back. There we go. So we've got you know pull this out, I mean it ends up being not too bad. I haven't tightened these up yet, but I'll um, straighten them up a little bit, give them a little bit more of a tweak if I have to, so there's not too much pressure on them. But that's that's a tip, man. So um, yeah, just a short one for you guys today. I'll um, see you on the next one. Hope hope this helps you out. This is um, the bigger the cable, the the better this tip is, you know. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. Going to work with Daddy Day, hey? <laughs> Look at those, hey! Checking out the big board. You want to terminate some of them, Jane? <laughs> <laughs>